Hey y'all, hey y'all, hey. Now y'all, y'all already know, y'all already see this bullshit that has been happening ever since yesterday. And I could tell you guys that it is not going to get any better, okay? Now, before we actually go ahead and get into this actual video, I want to go ahead on and, you know, put y'all up on some game. I had already told y'all that this whole Zolo and Liv the Stallion wasn't going to end well. Because, see, Zolo, you can already tell, he's a bitch. And what I mean by that is that, oh, you can kick him some smart-ass lines or bring some bullshit in front of him, or think that you are going to control him like you did Brandon and Gerard, and by him being a what again, a street dude, he already up on game. He's not going for it. So he is about to do you in Live the Stallion. Now Live the Stallion, <laughs> I do not know, you know what I'm saying, uh, what, transpired yesterday but yesterday definitely was some bullshit okay and he doesn't give a fuck about getting ready to expose the shit out of you now see live the thing that makes this look real crazy and make you look like a complete fucking idiot yes idiot is that we had already told you what was getting ready to go down i know i had already told you from the get-go what was getting ready to go down Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. But you think, you know what I'm saying? We don't know, and we haters, and we this, and we that. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I already knew, Liv the Stallion, that he was not really fucking with you like that. See, what you don't know, Liv, is that you don't even have common sense. You don't even, you know what I'm saying, have a street type of sense. We already know that you don't have no education. Okay, when it's coming to degrees and, you know, college and, 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 you know, SATs and you know what I mean? All of those. We already know that you ain't even on that level. And again, we are just going to say it again, Olivia. <laughs> Olivia, I gave you 24 hours. Your girl wants to know where the fuck is that GED? Where is it, Liv the Stallion? Stella with the boots. Where is it? All right. Now, Liv, uh, uh, what got me was, you know, somebody sent me a little, you know, picture of the day you graduated. And it actually seemed that Stella with the boots was lying for you as well. <laughs> I said, look at this shit right here. You got Stella with the boots. Lying for her daughter, Olivia. I said, this right here is definitely, you know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? Some bullshit, okay? I know over there right now, Liv, you are probably over there looking so fucking stupid right now. <laughs> I seen you came on, uh, you know, to your platform last night and got ready to go live. And then all of a sudden you was gone. You came on there for four minutes. The only thing we saw was a hand and then Liv, you got ghost. I think what it was, Liv the Stallion, was you thought about it and you said, if I take my fat ass up on this camera right now, they are getting ready to drag the fuck out of me. And while they are dragging the fuck out of me, what is going to happen most likely is Zolo is going to go live as well. And then what is going to happen all of us will be screen recording the shit. <laughs> Live the stallion. Come on, girl. We waiting for your silly ass to come up on here, okay? Come on. Okay. We already know that you're going to come on here in a few anyway, like, um, you know, everything, you know, that I've been going through, um, you know, that I am only one person. Um, I have like a really, really good heart and that's the cancer and me. And, um, I love really, really hard. Uh, it seems like I always pick, you know, like the wrong, like the wrong, oh, like, like, like the wrong. I'm not going to cry. I'm not going to cry. 
but I seem to pick the rock. I said that I wasn't going to do this when I came on here. That's what I said. I was not going to do this. But yeah, it seems like, you know, I always pick, you know, the wrong guys, you know, um, you know, I, I, I'm not going to put anybody out there or anybody business out there, you know, um, it, it, it's just, you know, not right. I am being pulled in, in so many directions. I'm already being pulled by my husband who I thought would never, ever <laughs> oh, do this. But, you know, yeah, you guys can also believe whatever it is that you want to believe because I know the truth. I know the truth. So if you want to believe what they say, believe what they say. If you want to know the truth, listen to me. Yes. Okay, that's exactly what Liv the Stallion is getting ready to come up here and do. The second thing she's going to do to follow that shit right here, see all y'all people that gave Liv that money for that uh, weight shit, y'all get ready to have a real fucking awakening. And I, I'm getting ready to tell y'all, okay? Because next she's going to come up on here and she's going to be like, you know, this is a very stressful uh, situation for me. You know, at this point, I, I, I can't really go on, you know, with this weight loss challenge. Um, It is just way, way, way too much for me. It's way too much for me. So, um, yeah, I don't know what I'm going to do. I'm sorry, you know, that this is happening. Yeah, that's what she's going to do. Then the third thing that she's getting ready to do is... Guys, I know that, you know, I, you guys, I'm so sorry, but, you know, there's been so much going on, you know, in my home. There's been so much going on, you know, with um my divorce and, you know, the children and everything. So your eyelashes, you know, I'm hoping to get them to you as soon as well. Please hold on. Uh, I mean, again, I am so, so sorry, but, you know, I will try, I will try to get them to you. And what that means when she says that is that hopefully in about four weeks to a month, I'm going to come out this dumb ass shit that I done got myself into and, you know, come out with a better attitude and some positivity and then go ahead and send you those uh, uh, lashes that you ordered a million years ago. Yeah, that's what Olivia get ready to do, y'all. Y'all already know. Don't even try to act like you don't know because that's what's getting ready to go down. I would just want to go ahead and put y'all up on game, okay? So anyway, like I was getting ready to say, from the get-go, I already knew that Zolo was getting ready to run fucking circles around Olivia because Olivia is a complete stupid. She's a moron. That's exactly what Olivia is. I'm sorry I got to say it like that, but Olivia is a complete all right, not a half, not over a half, but she's a complete idiot, okay? And all of this shit that is going on right now, I'm sorry, I don't have no type of sadness, you get what I'm saying, or anything for Olivia with what she's going through, uh-huh, because she does this bullshit to herself, okay? We already knew that when Zolo went inside of that studio, okay, the little boy do got a little bit of rap game in him at first. At first, I didn't think so. Heard his song or whatever. Yeah, he got a little bit up in him. So I noticed that, that you know what I'm saying, Zolo did not show Olivia. And when I saw that, I said, oh, okay, baby, he's not making it for you. He's trying to make this whole rap thing for his um homeboys. That's what exactly what he's trying to do. He's trying to make this whole rap thing for his homeboys. Not you. Not you at all. His homeboys. Okay? The only picture that we got of you, really, was when you put yourself up on that screen. Okay, and Olivia, the next time you go to any th type of thing like that, you give me that as a, um, you know, a, a, a um, singing, you know, you say you get ready, go ahead and get in the studio or whatever. Girl, please don't take that fucking uh, Steve Madden $10 looking bag up in there like you the shit. Girl, please don't put that bag up in no other videos. 
okay? The bag is horrible. But anyway, y'all already know I'm extra. So let's go ahead and we get ready to get up into this actual video. Fucking doing what the fuck a bitch asked me to do. And a bitch can't do what the fuck I asked her ass to do. So as far as the live and shit goes, as far as the personal shit she got going on and all that bullshit, I don't care to discuss it or discuss it. But at the same time, I don't give a fuck not to discuss it because, bitch, you don't give a fuck about me. Period. You date niggas. You fuck over niggas. And you put everything on niggas' fault. Like, it's just them. It ain't nobody else. Y'all, why, why is he walking around? <laughs> it's about 90 degrees out there, let me tell you, whatever. And he is walking around. I can already look at it and tell y'all, he at that apartment complex. Yeah. So Liv the Stallion <clears throat> has just put him out. And I guess maybe if not, what he's doing is he left the house and he is walking, you get what I'm saying, around the park. The type of walking that he is doing right now is, I don't know what the fuck is getting ready to happen right now. That's the shit that he got on his mind, okay? His skin is fucking glistening, okay? You can see on the side of his face where he got that dumbass Olivia tattoo. <laughs> you can see on the side of his face, y'all, that it is hot. It is hot out there, girl. Fuck, but you. I know what the fuck I said the first time. I wasn't going to do this dumbass shit. But you said you weren't going to do the same dumbass shit that you doing. So here we go again. We back at it. Furthermore. Yo, he hot as shit, y'all. You know how, like, when you real, real hot or whatever, and you know some people on underneath that arm, they got that big-ass, wet, nasty-ass uh, patch of, like, uh, sweat and shit? Yeah, that's exactly... <laughs> that's exactly what Zolo probably got right now. He probably got one of them big-ass circle wet spots underneath his arm. Okay, walking around smelling like a whole uh, uh, cheesesteak. <laughs> you hung up on me again. You said it's done. Cool, it's done. That shit is a wrap. So it don't matter what the fuck you trying to talk, talk to me about. It don't matter what you complaining about. It don't matter what you asking me not to fucking do. It don't matter. No matter who the fuck you call, who the fuck you fuck, bro, I don't give a fuck about none of that. Still got money on the way. Was supposed to get your dumb ass, like, a good amount of it, but fuck that. Don't need to do that either. And as, as I, I always, always have, have, as Zolo, as Zolo been, been, always, always has, has, I find, I find my, own my own fucking way. Fucking way. Every fucking Every time. Fucking time. Back to the Back same, to the shit, same that shit that I was verifying before. Yeah. Yeah. Well, Lizzo, you better, I don't know what's getting ready to go down tonight, but it looks like, you know, you might um want to go ahead and call that place back, you get me, and see if they got that twin bed with those flower sheets, you know, still there for you. And that's what you may want to do. Because right now you are out here looking like a straight up fucking clown. Yes, you are, bro. Bro, you were supposed to be smarter than this Zolo. You were supposed to be smarter than this Zolo. Smarter, all right? You were supposed to have another chick on the side. So when Olivia La Stallion had put you out, you were going to be able to go ahead and slide up in, you know what I'm saying, her bed. And hopefully, you know what I mean, the bid, um, how can we put this? The bid is, you know, at least a queen size. Hopefully, you know, that, that, that that's what happened, okay? 
It seems, it seems like everybody, like everybody fucking right, right about this dumbass, dumb ass ass bitch, bro. She, keep, bro. she, she just keeps keep verifying, keep verifying the same shit back, back to fucking back. back. back, to back. back. They ain't gonna have a nerd to come at me talking about me something. Talking this, about is my this is my business. This is my life. This is my life. Well, if it's your, well, if fucking, it's your business fucking business and life, then you wouldn't then you be so wouldn't motherfucking, be so motherfucking worried, about worried about what the fuck, what the fuck, fuck I'm doing. doing. And you would focus on your business and your motherfucking life. life. And see, clearly, see, right, clearly now, right now, I don't now, give a fuck about nothing disrespectful coming out my fucking mouth. How much you done disrespected me? Embarrass, embarrass me. me? Fuck, no. Fuck no. Do what you gotta do. What you do. Gotta do. But I'm telling, but I'm you, telling like you like you this. Put you put your motherfucking hand. Now, see, Zolo, you supposed to play the game a little bit better. Bro, how did you even let Olivia drag you down and take you through the bushes with the bullshit you know what i'm saying that she be doing you supposed to be you know a bro you supposed to be that corner guy you supposed to be you know what i'm saying in the game that's why you got all those tattoos and shit because you know what i'm saying you supposed to be in the game you even got some little teardrops whatever the hell that shit is over there you know and that normally means you caught caught a body but for you i just really think zolo you know you just got that to you know give us that type of um feel that you know what i'm saying that um you ain't about that shit that niggas be doing okay you are not about it you will get down okay that's what i had thought but right now, you are making me feel, you know what I'm saying, some type of way. Like, you, 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 what I thought, oh, okay, is that, you know, Liv, when, you know, you looked at her, you looked at her as a clown. You looked at her as a come up. You looked at Liv as, you know what I'm saying, to say, hold this little stash for me real quick and I'll be back. That's what I looked at, looked at it as. Um, it's gonna, it's be, the gonna be the last nigga you touch. I don't give a fuck who you call. You can call your baby, daddy, daddy, your mama, your uncle, your sister, your cousin. I don't give a fuck who you call. Put that on, Put my, that mama. on my mama. I bet y'all <clears throat> any amount of money, okay, I will run around the block with Yanni, okay, for this whole weight thing, like she's been asking, you know, Liv the Stallion to do. I would run around the block, okay? Might pass out, but I would definitely try to run around the block, okay? But, um, Zolo, um, I'm trying to tell you, I bet you Liv is scared as shit. I bet you Mama Stella is sitting at that front door with those boots on. I'm telling y'all. <laughs> I bet you Mama Stella is scared over there. She's sitting over there at that front door with them boots on, with both of them rabbits in her hand, waiting for him to knock on to, do, to the door and say, oh, here's your rabbits. We don't want any trouble. Because <laughs> you ain't no you ain't better, no than, my better than my motherfucking baby, baby mama, mama, bitch. bitch. Straight up. Straight up. You, 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 oh, you, oh, I never find I a never bitch find like you, bitch. I already did. I had her before, had her before, your, before stupid your stupid ass. ass. She did the she same, did the dumb same ass shit that, that, you that you doing. Call yourself, Call yourself motherfucking, motherfucking loving, loving a nigga, 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 bitch. That love, that love shit, shit for the bird. For the bird bro. Nigga ain't nigga using you for shit. For shit. That love that shit, love for, shit the birds, for the birds, bro. I ain't never I ain't did wrong body. I ain't never cheated on your lie to you. But your stupid ass should be ready to leave a nigga, 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 nigga for the dumb shit. Your dumb ass should be ready to complain about the stupid shit. I don't got time, I don't got for, that time for that shit. You got some nerve trying to talk about something. See, what it is, Zolo, is that Olivia, you know what I mean? Olivia is right now, she's in a manic state. There is something seriously, y'all, clearly wrong, you know what I mean, with Olivia. See, Olivia has so many different daddy issues. She has so much bottled up in her about her marriage, you know what I mean, and everything and childhood and all of that. Olivia is not going to get right until she sits herself down or lays herself down or pops a pill in her mouth at the same time, you know, to um 
deal with, you know, her multiple personalities, mm -hmm, her bipolar. She's definitely weird. She's weird as shit. She's definitely bipolar. She definitely has some multiple, you know what I'm saying, different personalities, okay? And it is really shining through right now. We are looking at you, Liv the Stallion, in the worst way that we have looked at you ever. See, what it looks like, Liv, is that the fact that, you you know, you can't argue with Brandon right now. You cannot argue with Gerard. So therefore, you're going to face all of that anger on to Zolo. And Zolo, Liv the Stallion, is tight enough for that flat ass that you got over there. Yes, she's he is tight enough for that flat ass that you have over there, most likely in that tie-dye dromper or inside of those black leggings. Uh-huh, yeah, he is definitely tight enough for that ass. So I can tell you right now, uh, Liv the Stallion, shit is getting ready to get real, real for you. I can tell you now, Liv the Stallion, you are getting ready to get so fucking embarrassed. This one is going to go down on YouTube, uh, history. Yes, 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 yes. Because see, you let these men know way too much about you. Way too much. I have people that I have known for 15 years. They don't know shit about I do YouTube. No, they don't know shit about it. Okay? Carry on. I like, I like his child. child. I, I like, like his bitch. You are a kid. Fuck acting like, like one. one. You, you is one. The, the fuck, fuck out of here with, with that, that shit, shit, bro. bro. Hell, Hell no. Nah. Nah. Oh, oh, good. Oh, good. oh, oh fucking, fucking good. good. I'm, I'm gonna find, find my way, way every fucking time, bro. Every time. I'm not worried about that shit. Doing, doing so, so much, much of a favor, favor bitch, bitch. What favor, favor you doing, doing now? Matter, Matter of fact, fact I, I call this other bitch. Zola, where you bite? Officially over with. All right, y'all. So just to break it down for y'all, real, 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 real quick, I had. Um, you know, put most of the actual Instagrams that he did um, into one actual video. So this is the second part where, you know what I'm saying, he is walking, you know, kicking rocks. This is it right here. Hey, y'all. Uh, this stupid, dumbass hoe talking about someone fucking with her business. Business do you got? The business of fucking niggas over? The business of uh, 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 arguing with random niggas in front of your kids. Now, Zolo, you already know that Liv got, you know what I'm saying, a business. <clears throat> You already know that Liv is over there making, you know what I'm saying, moves. Y'all already know that Liv is over there trying to sell some shit, okay? Like Ming be over there doing and be selling out. And it ain't working out for you, Olivia, because you know why? You ain't got no type of style. You ain't got no type of, uh, what word am I looking for? Originality. You ain't got that shit. You see? And, and, and you know, your other compadres, they do. I'm not even going to blow you what I'm saying because you already know again, Ming, 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 Ming has basically owned the shit out of you for about four to five hours. Uh-huh. Yes, she did. Okay. Yes, she did. Yes, she did. And it looks like in this video that Zolo is getting ready to own the shit out of you. <laughs> and I, Olivia lived the stallion and not mad at him because exactly everything was going on. You actually deserve it. Every nigga that you deal with lived the stallion. You do the same exact on the point. Same thing to them. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. It's time to stop. I don't know if you know this, Olivia, you said, you know, God and everything, but God is giving you, you know what I mean? Some signs to go and sit your flat ass down. That is what God is giving you. <laughs> girl, you better listen. You better listen. I'm trying to tell you, girl, you better listen. 
Okay. Yeah. Gerard all of y'all. Y'all was right. I'm packing my shit and hitting the road. Gerard! We're coming back to that dirty Shout out to Gerard! Tuna can smelling ass bitch. Oh! <laughs> The stallion, live the stallion. <laughs> he has graduated onto calling you tuna fish, tuna can. Yeah, that's what he said. On to that, he's graduated to calling you tuna can. <laughs> live the stallion. That has got to be some bullshit. You have got to feel some type of way you have got to be over there in that bed you got with no sheets on it you get what i'm saying with a pillow a pillowcase probably laid over you know what i'm saying your chest that ain't covering anything <laughs> let me tell you live just by hearing this right here to the can he get ready drag the fuck out of you okay you get ready have some straight straight you get me uh 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 embarrassment okay this is get ready to be uh i mean okay so main drags you gerard drags the fuck out of you now zolo is getting ready to you know what i'm saying come in for the homecoming he get ready to wrap this shit up <laughs> Girl, he done called you dry. He done called you dry, dry, dry again. <laughs> Olivia, you got to feel like a real, real big dummy. You know what I'm saying? For all the YouTubers, all the fucking subscribers and trolls to know that you are dry, 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 dry. All right. <laughs> Girl, you better take some of that oil that you done made, that honey oil and shit that you try to act like you made and, and, and you know your own home. And you better take that dropper and put some up in that tuna can. That's what you live, uh, the stallion. I'm trying to tell you this is what you do, okay? You better take that dropper. You better lay down on that dirty ass bed, you know what I'm saying, without no sheets on it and drop some up into that tuna can. Uh-huh. That's what you, you know what I'm saying, you better do, girl. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Since, Since I, I tell, tell so much of our, our business, business. This whole had a huge infection every day. Oh! And now I'll do shit. <laughs> Live the stallion. Come on now, Live the stallion. Come the fuck on, okay? So you mean to tell me, okay, you done got a yeast infection, but see, we already know. We done told you. That's what I'm trying to say. If you work with the reactors and not against the reactors, you will have a smoother life. I done told you over and over and over. I done came up here. You get what I'm saying? And told it to you nicely. Okay. I said, live the stallion. Stop wearing those extremely, extremely tight clothes. You get me? Where we can see. You know your heart beating at times. I've told you stop wearing, you know what I mean, those black light, your uniform clothes. We already know what they are. I told you to stop what wearing those tight ass, you get what I'm saying, nasty, disgusting ass, dingy, you get me, um, attire, okay? If you would have listened to, you get what I'm saying, Reese, the fucking adorable one, this wouldn't have never happened to you. None of this. It wouldn't have happened, Olivia. I tried to give you a F -I FYI. I didn't gave you heads up. I mean, I didn't did what I'm supposed to do as a reactor. This right here is fucking disturbing. <laughs>
<laughs> Liv, how you ask him to go get you some yeast infection, uh, Madison? <laughs> so, Liv, the stallion, are you over there eating yogurt or, you know, are you over there with some monostat? You get what I'm saying? I mean, what are you over there doing? Okay, I almost might have to take change your name from Liv the Stallion. You know what I'm saying? I had started calling you HD, which is Humpty Dumpty. Now I just might have to go ahead and start calling you Miss Monistat. Vagisil. Ew, you probably got yeast all in that, that, that Mercedes that you got all in, you know, the driver's seat. Ugh, that's fucking disgusting. Why the fuck did you even get that tattoo? I mean, really? Why did you put that dumbass name on the side of your head? <laughs> Why did you even do that shit to yourself? <laughs> I have no idea why. <laughs> yeah, we did. And, and my, my stupid, stupid ass, ass came, came back, back up, up here fucking, fucking with her dumb ass, ass bro. That's, That's where I fucked up at. But, but it's all good. good. I'm, I'm about, about to go to a whole other city. city. Got, Got my shit. shit. Feel me? Damn. All right, y'all. Let, let's get on this fucking walk, okay? Now, Zolo, you are over there. You sweating bullets. <laughs> You are sweating bullets. Why would you even do this shit to yourself? <laughs> you could have at least played the game right. Let the bitch go ahead and say what she want to say. Let her go ahead and, you know what I'm saying, dehumanize you or whatever. Yeah, at least wait, I'm sorry, until you got enough coins saved up where you could get you a room, okay? Or at least wait till you get you another dumbass uh, uh, girl, whereas though you can just, you know, have her come scoop you up and you go stay over there. All right, you're going to have to listen to Reese too, because right here, what you is doing is not, not, I mean, it's not presentable to us. We don't like it. We don't like this shit at all. We thought you was better than this. You are walking around, okay, bunnyless, okay. Mm -hmm. Rabbitless, all right. You are walking around. You are carrying a bunch of fucking bags, okay? I mean, you are dealt out with the bags. Not only that, Zolo, <laughs> but you don't got the young ass bags or whatever. You got the good ass trash bags. You know, the one that they like real stretchy, you know, so it don't poke no holes in there. You got the good shit. So with that being said, I could tell you got a little bit, you know what I'm saying, experience when it comes down to, you know, getting low like like this i could tell this has happened to you more than about uh one time because you got this covered your arms i mean you just walking like that shit ain't nothing i would have passed the fuck out by now i would have been sitting on the curb that's what your girl reese would have been doing um i'll be on this bitch every day Talking, talking about, about her stupid, stupid ass. ass. Wanna... Oh, okay. oh, I'm gonna. You I'm gonna hear that. That's a month later from now. You crying like a bitch now. Nah. Talking about some. I never find nobody like you. You damn sure won't. Need nobody like you. You never find another bitch like Liv. Never. Uh uh. Unless you go inside the. Unless you go inside the psych ward. I'm not in the streets every day, nigga. Hold up, Zolo. If you outside in the streets every day, you know what I'm saying? You sounding like you getting money. You should have at least a room to go stay in. All right. So you starting to come across, you know, a real, real, real suspect. That's what you starting to do. You coming across, you know, what kind of suspect. But we going to keep on listening, okay? 
fuck out of here. Liv can't spell op. She can barely spell her own goddamn name. She gonna talk about some. Oh, I don't think we're gonna do that today. I got we got a lot of extra shit to do. What happened was this bitch rather would have a fuck nigga than a real nigga. That's pretty much what happened. Yeah, she wanna control you. So, she wants she wanna treat you like a a, 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 a bitch. That's mm-hmm. ass. Nigga, I'm moving on my life. Don't fucking bother me. I'm Gucci. For real. You go pre watch it. Oh, hold on. You watch your fellow How y'all doing? <laughs> Now, this right here, y'all, let me tell y'all, this was some funny ass shit. <laughs> this right here, and this is what I'm trying to tell you, this shit was epic. This right here is the reason why Liv the Stallion got on here last night, had a hand there for four minutes, and Liv the Stallion got low. She got low. I can tell you right now, she probably was in that bathroom. <laughs> Looking at all of that honey, uh, uh, oil that she's supposed to be selling. <laughs> That's exactly, uh, what Olivia was in there doing. Crying down, okay? Crying down, all right? She was crying. Gerard, Gerard, Gerard. Let me tell you, you <laughs> had blown the shit out of me when I seen this shit right here. I could not stop laughing. I was hollering. I said, they are fucking with you, Liv the Stallion. <laughs> they are over there clowning the shit out of you. <laughs> Damn. Now we just over we watching Fatal Attraction. It's on commercial right now. <laughs> Fatal Attraction, Attraction, you know. You know? <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, <Yeah. child. laughs> they clowning you girl they clowning you oh they are clowning you let me tell you something live the style you you can't come back for this shit right here <laughs> See, I live to style you because we already know that you got that, you know what I'm saying? That no, no, no Amazon education. So, what he is doing is, you know, he is throwing some definitely some shade at you about going to the gym, okay? And I want to say this too I was wondering what the fuck you had that bike in your room for. I said, when the fuck did Olivia start exercising on a bike? The seat wouldn't even hold you. <laughs> Damn, that's, that's, that's cold blooded, man. Damn. I'm going to tell y'all a funny story. I had failed at work today. I'm trying to get in my truck and fail straight back. God, damn. <laughs> <laughs> Damn, that's cold blooded. Damn, that's cold blooded. Damn, that's cold blooded. Say bye in another language. Oh. Adios. Uh, deuces. Like Chris Brown say, deuces. Uh. Arriba <laughs> Dirty. <laughs> I mean, Fatal Attraction. They talk. Hey, this is what we watching right here. We watching Fatal Attraction. You know? Because it's hard out here in these streets. It's hard. <laughs> Gotta go see a man about a heart. That's what they say. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. You hurt some love. Oh, I'm over 
were sweating, boy. That is funny. Oh, my God. Now, how y'all doing that? Y'all ain't telling me how y'all doing today. <laughs> Ooh. Well, Mondays is for good laughs, okay? Monday fun day. That's what they call it, right? Monday used to be the boardest day of the week until you see some fun shit or something, you know? Like an hour ago? Yeah. About an hour, two hours ago, you know. It's all good, though, you know? Ooh. Yeah, we ate some tuna. You know. <laughs> she had sound spray. I use mayonnaise. Yeah, man, that tuna was hitting hard, boy. I had a tuna wrap. I've been on a little clean, you know. I only sweet drink, so I lost ten pounds in one week. I'm getting. I've been working out, baby. I've been in the gym. Oh, I've been in the gym. Look, look at my neck. See how skinny my neck is? I'll ride that bike, though. I'll be on the treadmill. <laughs> <laughs> Y'all ain't gonna believe it. I'm gonna ride that bike. I'm gonna ride that bike. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. All right, y'all. I'm gone. All right, y'all. I'm going to see y'all in the next video. Later.